afternoon. We interrupt this program with breaking news from devastating wildfires in the Dandenong Ranges on the outskirts of Melbourne, Australia. I'm Luke. And I'm Simone. Extreme temperatures and wind have caused havoc across the countryside today. Many fires raged out of control, including a crown fire driven by strong hot northerly winds through treetops. In particular, two townships bore the brunt of this wildfire. Fires struck without warning after sudden wind changes. The results in each township, however, were dramatically different. Two townships, one celebrating and the other shocked in mourning. Mark Morris is in Montarama, where the tight-knit community is deeply grateful for their own preparation for bushfires has saved their lives. Thanks, Mark. I'm here in Montrama, one of the many bushfire ravaged communities in the Dandenong Ranges. Despite the ferocity of today's fire, this local community is celebrating the benefit of being prepared for a bushfire. We now have an inspiring story of a young boy who was at home alone when the fire struck. As you've just seen, being prepared for a bushfire, having a written plan and actively defending your home can save your life. For further information on how you too can be better prepared for a bushfire, contact your local fire brigade or agency. The message is clear. Be prepared for any situation. Actively defend your home and have a written plan. Now, sadly, a tragedy from the township of Kalinda in those same Dandenong Ranges. Yes, while one community is relieved, Another is in shock over the tragic death of two children who were home alone during the school holiday period where their parents went to work. George Jones is in Kalinda to tell us more. Yes, I'm here in the small community of Kalinda in the Dandenon Ranges. The people here are reeling from the shock of losing two children believed to be aged between 12 and 15 during the bushfires earlier today. It appears their tragic deaths could have been avoided only if their parents had a fire plan in place and the kids knew what to do. The children, whose names are yet to be released, appeared to have panicked and tried to escape the fire on foot. These are the details of this tragic event.
To find out more about being prepared for bushfires, contact your local fire brigade or agency. This has been George Jones at, the, at Coinda in the Downon Ranges reporting on the tragedy that unfolded here today. The message is obvious. Make sure you are prepared in case of a bushfire and have a written plan. And for those parents out there, talk about your plans with your family. There are many things you can do and how do you find out more? Contact your local fire brigade. If you live in Victoria, Australia, you can find information at www.cfa.vic.gov.au and www.dhs.vic.gov.au forward slash emergencies. If you live on the outskirts of Victoria, contact your local fire authority for details. We now have Caleb at the bushfire scene with local CFA firefighter who has been battling for fires today. Thank you, Caleb. Thank you, Luke. I'm here with Gage Hanson. Gage, tell us what happened here today. Jeez, Caleb, it was hot and windy. The fire took us by surprise. We heard earlier that, sadly, two children died in Kalinda. What do you think happened there? Yeah, I was in the area after that happened and it appears the kids panicked and tried to outrun the fire. It's a tragedy. That shouldn't have happened. How important is it to have a bushfire plan? It's very important, Caleb, especially if you have kids and you're at work during the week. Do you think a plan would have helped the two children? Yep. If that family had a written bushfire plan, the kids might have still been scared, but they would have known to stay inside and actively defend the home. Thank you, Gage. Remember, be prepared, have a written plan, practice it, and keep it somewhere that's easy to find. Actively defend your home. This has been Caleb talking to Gage Hanton in the Mandani Nong Ranges. If you live in Victoria, Australia, you can call the Victorian Bushfire Information Line on 1800 240 667 and listen to ABC 774 AM radio for up-to-date information about bushfires in your area. Those websites again, www.cfa.vic.gov.au or www.dhs.vic.gov.au forward slash emergencies or call your local fire authority. Don't forget, being prepared for bushfire saves lives. That's all in this special bulletin. I'm Simone. And I'm Luke. Good night. Good night.